So new technology will enable us to actually treat people with the right drug at the right time in a, in a way that actually works, reducing enormous inefficiency in the system. Mm -hmm. So while there's some challenges in the capital markets today because of economic recession and credit market crises and challenges in the way we deploy healthcare today, mm -hmm. we're gonna change in the next few years everything there is about healthcare from a thousand years of people getting sick and being treated relatively poorly mm -hmm. to a world in which we basically maintain your state of wellness. That's very exciting. And we're right in the middle of that change. Let's talk a little bit about what I call the Walmart theory. Okay. <laughs> about where people are sure. going to be going to get health care. Sure, we're, we're moving into a world of consumer digital health. That is to say, you and I will know a lot from birth, literally, we'll genotype people at birth, we'll maintain individualized health records where we know a lot about you and me and what we're going to do, and we'll be able to use that to both be prescriptive about what's going to happen and diagnose what, what you actually have happening in you and then treat you somewhat remotely. Mm -hmm. So if you think about going into the Walmart stores of the future, you'll walk in the front door, you'll drop a little body fluid onto a BlackBerry-like device onto some smart chip, we'll do a bunch of analysis, you'll buy your groceries, you'll buy your color TV, and on your way out you'll put on a t-shirt with some uh, probes and sensors so that we can monitor you, you'll know a, f a fair amount of information about what's wrong with you, you'll have some pills or some medicines, and, and we'll move consumer health care to the individual at a, at a, at a consumer-like Walmart, CVS, Target kind of level. At a more specialized level, cancer care and other kinds of things will be regionalized in specialized care centers. Mm -hmm. And so we'll move the emergency room today, which is kind of America's health practice, mm -hmm. back into the Walmart stores at a consumer level with much more effectiveness, often, often managed by health, pra health practitioners or nurse practitioners, mm -hmm. not necessarily by doctors. And so we'll move doctors upscale, if you will. So we're going to live in a couple of years into a very different healthcare world than the world that we live in today. It sounds very fascinating, and some people might say it almost sounds like science fiction. What do you say to people who are like, gosh, that just sounds so far away? Well, we went, we went from the computer world where we had boxcar-sized computers to computers that we carry in our pocket that have enormous power. Mm -hmm. The same phenomena is help, happening in healthcare. We moved healthcare to an enormous amount of information. Mm -hmm. We're much like a GPS. You can take all those flows of information up. You can crunch those flows. You can pinpoint what's wrong with you and pinpoint what we need to do and eliminate the enormous amount of costs in the system that shouldn't be there because it's wasteful. And so we have knowledge today in the context of information about how we work and how disease works that we never had before. And so we went from from a computer world where computers were big and expensive and impossible to get mm -hmm. in a relatively short period of time to enormous power in your pocket. If you just apply that analogy to our world of healthcare, we've got an archaic world of healthcare around us where information today is going to transform the nature of that relatively quickly, mm -hmm. quickly being a decade, quickly not being one year. But by the time we get to 2020, we'll be in an entirely different healthcare system. Right. Now let me ask you this. I won't ask you, because it wouldn't be polite, which candidate you're looking forward to in November. But I had noticed that on the back of your book, you have Barack Obama. So any coincidence well, I think, that he no, happens I think, to I be think, there? Well, I think regardless of who gets elected, we'll have dramatic changes in the healthcare system. Mm -hmm. I think both candidates recognize that we have a giant problem in the healthcare system. They have different ways to pay for it. But that's really only a part of the issue. The real issue is how dramatically we're going to use the entrepreneurial community to create new solutions, new delivery mechanisms at one level, new innovations that change the nature of technology. Mm -hmm. And so regardless of who wins, we're going to see massive change from the administration that we have today. Thank you so much. You're